Okay, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Singapore. Yeah, I guess at this time of the day, 8.30 in the morning, I think it's kind of good to see a lot of people already in. And I hope you enjoyed the reception last night. And uh, a taste of Singapore weather, I guess you, 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 you encounter a kind of half an hour of storm and then followed by kind of a cool evening sun on the beach. Yeah. So, uh, uh, first of all, I would like to kind of explain the logo we have. I think the, the ACM web conference will be the standard logo. I think a lot of you actually know this conference as a dub 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 conference. And you might be wondering where are the three W's. Yeah, I just want to point to you that it's actually on the left. You see the three, metal three? Yeah, so it's kind of carefully built into that for this particular conference. Yeah, so next I would like to kind of uh, introduce uh, Dick Bauterman, the studying committee chair of this conference to, uh, to, say, to, to, to welcome the, you and, uh, and also to introduce the committee. Yeah, Dick. Thank you. The person who put together the slide has been very kind to find youth photos of uh, almost all members of the uh, steering committee. Um, my name is Dick Balterman. I'm chair of the steering committee, and on behalf of the committee that you see in front of you here, um, we'd like to uh, thank the organizers here at, uh, at Singapore for putting on this event. What the steering committee does is it solicits bids for conferences every year, typically three, sometimes four years ahead of time. For this year, I believe there were five bids to host the 2024 conference, and we're very pleased that, uh, that Singapore, A, got the bid and executed it uh, very nicely. Um, we'll be talking about future conferences uh, at the, uh, the end of the meeting. And then the steering committee provides guidance in organization and makes sure from year to year that the conferences have a similar feel and a similar experience, and especially that students get treated like first-class citizens and that uh, um, actually, professors also get treated like first-class citizens, and that's kind of a refreshing, uh, refreshing thing. Um, the members of the steering committee are here so that if, and all of us have these green neckbands, so that if you have uh, questions or comments, or if you're interested um, in potentially hosting a future version of the web conference, then please let us know. One of the other things we'd like to know is this is the um, third conference since we've transitioned to an ACM conference. We've always had close associations with ACM in terms of the digital library and access to our papers. But now we're, uh, we're a full part of the ACM family. And um, uh, you know maybe you as authors or you as participants have some feelings about that and uh, have some comments on that process. Please let us know so that we can uh, we can look around. There are some notables from ACM. Most uh, notably within my eyesight is Erwin King, who was vice chair of, uh, of SIGWeb. Um, SIGWeb is the ACM SIG in which we are housed as the web conference. So it's great for us to be here. We uh, look forward to three uh, invigorating and dry days. Um, and, um, uh, and we all hope that you have a, a, a wonderful time and a scientifically interesting and challenging time here at the web conference. Thank you for coming. We all know it's a major investment. We all know this is not the cheapest conference on your conference schedule this year. Um, but we hope that you get a sense of, uh, of value for not only money, but value for time and value for the effort that it takes to, uh, to spend a couple of days uh, together here. Um, and I personally hope that you use some of that time to not look at your mobile phone and, uh, and not look at your email on your laptop, but especially in the breaks, uh, get to talk to some people who you don't know, right, and try and find out what, uh, what's interesting and, uh, and if you can make some new contacts. The important thing about coming to conferences is not so much that you get to meet famous people, but that famous people get to meet you. Right? So make the opportunity, talk around, and not only the famous people from now, but also the famous people from, uh, from the future. Thanks for coming, and uh, we look forward to uh, interacting with you during the conference. And thanks to Tat Seng and the organization for really putting on a first-class show here in Singapore. Okay. Yeah, th 
Thank you, Dick. Yeah, good morning. So as General Koche, we would like to welcome you again to Singapore. It's a small island, but I hope you get everything and enjoy the conference. Yeah. So, uh, well, you can see we have a big team of committee members, actually over 50 members. Yeah. So we work very hard yeah, in the past one year to make this happen. Yeah. So especially we would like to thank the program chair. Yeah. Even though we only have two program chair, that makes everything happen. Thank you, Hadi Ravi. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I guess for all conferences, I think we always need the support of the sponsors. I just to point out that actually sponsors not only provide us with finances, but they also showcase us what is to come actually from the industry that are relevant to us. So uh, this year we have the uh, uh, Zipu AI as a diamond sponsor, and we have uh, Technology Innovation Institute, TII, as a platinum sponsor. For gold sponsors, we have uh, TikTok, and Google, and for civil sponsor, we have Baidu, as well as the kind of local AI startup company, Six Estates. Yeah, and all these sponsors, actually, they are located on the left. So for, for I, will, I kind of like to encourage you all to actually visit them to see what are the latest technologies that are offering to, uh, to, to, to the market. And uh, for the program, I think uh, for a lot of you actually have participated in the program for the last two days. Yeah, we had 20 tutorials, 16 workshops, special days, uh, PhD symposium, wait for all, web for all. And most important, actually, for this year, we try out the so-called emerging world symposium. And I hope this is going to be a kind of a, a, a fixed feature for the web so that we can actually bring in the, the emerging world, uh, especially the researchers, as well as uh, get everybody to know what they're doing. And uh, so for the next three days, I think we have uh, uh, another reset of program. We've got four keynotes, one panel, five poster sessions, as well as 40 oral, oral sessions. So I hope all of you will take advantage of being here on the face-to-face -face and then to actually get to uh, discuss with all the authors and, uh, and, and, and the speakers. Yeah, here I just kind of want to show you one slide about the uh, Sentosa actually, since you are here. So I hope you should kind of take full advantage and enjoy the, the, the sights and sounds here. Uh, on the day, I think you can see, I think yesterday probably a lot of us walked walk from the path here to, to, the, to the beach. But uh, I just want to point out that actually at night it's even more interesting. So, so you should actually try to kind of spend time and, and, and enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, so next, I think we are fortunate actually this year's, uh, the web conference actually coincide with the 50th anniversary of the internet. And to uh, commemorate this event, actually we, are, we, we requested and then uh, fortunate to have a, a video from Vincent, the, the Tuning Award winner. To, to actually uh, to, to give us some kind of uh, 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 his uh, message for this particular program. Yeah, so I think uh, I'll play this now and then... Uh... Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Vice President and Chief Internet Evangelist at Google. But today I'd like to speak to you as a remote member of the web conference coming to you by video transmitted through the internet. As many of you may know, the first paper describing the internet was published in May of 1974. So here we are in 2024 celebrating the 50th anniversary of that document. And of course, the subsequent 50 years of implementation, development, and evolution of the internet of today. Many of you have contributed to that. Certainly the World Wide Web's arrival in late 1991 and its incarnation in uh, commercial terms with uh, the Mosaic browser and then, of course, the browser from Netscape Communications, followed by many others, uh, has transformed the Internet. Really, the World Wide Web is the primary application that people run on the Internet and through which they reach many of its uh, services. And of course, that also uh, is the case for mobile phones, where applications through the internet and the web interfaces uh, have made this such a flexible and, and strikingly um, capable environment in which to invent new applications. 
So here we are, it's 2024, we're seeing the consequences of broad adoption of the use of the World Wide Web and the Internet. And uh, to be quite honest with you, some of what we see is not very satisfactory. There is an organization that one of your uh, colleagues, Mei Lin Fung, who now lives in Palo Alto, and I started some time ago called the People-Centered Internet, and our focus of attention there was on making the Internet a friendlier, safer place in which to operate and in which to enjoy its capabilities. Those of you who are paying attention will have noticed that social media have grown to become a major phenomenon in the network environment. But because nearly two-thirds of the world's population have access to the Internet, to be honest, some of those people are not exactly friendly. And some of them do things that are harmful to other people. And so people-centered Internet and many others are looking to find ways of, um, frankly, holding people accountable for bad behavior and harmful behavior on the Internet, while at the same time preserving as much as possible all of the positive benefits that we have now seen the Internet can deliver. And so while you are working in this conference, I hope you'll do several things uh, on behalf of the Internet. First of all, please celebrate. 50 years is a significant number. Uh, it's been in operation since January of 83, so we're talking 41 years of operation, 50 years uh, of its, uh, of its uh, in, since its invention. But the second thing I would ask you to do is to think hard about how we make this a better environment for everyone, one which benefits social and economic uh, values and at the same time holds parties accountable for their bad behavior. So I look forward to hearing the consequences of the conference, and I look forward to your help in celebrating this significant anniversary. Meanwhile, perhaps we'll meet on the net. <laughs> Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Vice President and Chief... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so next we have the. We are, I'll hand over to Ravi and, and Hadi to introduce the programs. I think two of them are the probably work the hardest for this conference to 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 to, to have the program of what you're going to enjoy later today. Yeah. Uh, Hadi and Ravi. All right. Good morning, everyone. I think uh, Ravi and I, we are very pleased uh, to see everyone here. I think we are probably some of the earliest people that you interact with, either as authors, reviewers, and so on. You probably receive a lot of emails from us, hunting you for your submissions, for your reviews, and so on. So I hope that the whole process will uh, result in a good program. And just a couple of words on overview of some of the innovations that we try to do this year. One, of course, is the move towards open review. And this allowed us to have more uh, discussions between authors and uh, reviewers. And indeed, I think we are thankful to all the efforts by the reviewers that each paper actually gets at least three reviews, but even more so, a majority actually had four or five reviews. So out of 2008 submissions, which is some healthy increase from last year, eventually some 405 papers are accepted. This is about 20% acceptance rate. Now, one of the things that we do this year as well is that we are not presenting every paper as oral. Uh, about half are presented as oral presentations, but every single paper get a poster. And I think we would like to emphasize one more time that there is no differentiation between these papers in the proceedings. Uh, they are the same paper. It's just a matter of what we believe will create a more meaningful program for the conference. And of course, we are grateful to all the 31 track chairs, 125 area chairs, and 1,500 reviewers. Now, some of you may be wondering, where are the papers? So the papers, you can find them either on conference website. There's going to be a link to the proceedings. And right now, they're open access. You can click through all the way to the PDF. Or you can just go to WOVA and find the exact paper that you are interested in. And that will allow you to click through the DOI link. And it will also take you to the PDF of the paper. And it also comes with the videos for the three-minute videos as well. Now, these are the 10 tracks of uh, the web conference. They are on diverse topics. And these are slightly revised from the past years because we take into account some of the current trends as well. 
uh, Ravi and I often joke that it feels like we are running 10 conferences <laughs> because these tracks are themselves uh, meaningful communities uh, on their own right as well. And the 11th track basically is a conflict of interest track. Uh, these are essentially submissions uh, by the track chairs, which are handled directly by the program chairs. Geographically uh, distributed in the following way, the majority of papers uh, nowadays does come from China. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, various uh, regions of the world are represented as well. Uh, I think we see a lot of you are taking pictures. Don't worry, we're going to upload the slides onto OVA, and you're going to find them in the documents uh, later on. So these are the 10 tracks and the area chairs for each track. I think many of you are here, and we are really grateful for their uh, contributions and their help in running the whole program as well. Now, 1,500 reviewers, is, um, they do a lot of work. But we are particularly grateful to these reviewers, which believe they, they have gone out of their way, not just in terms of producing meaningful, thoughtful reviews, but also in terms of responding to authors' comments and taking into account uh, the various aspects of the paper. So those of you who are here, we printed a certificate for you. Uh, you can collect them at the sponsor area in, in the, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, conference registration desk in the sponsors area. All right, so I think now we are ready to announce a couple of awards. Uh, one is the Best Student Paper Award. The other one is the Best Paper Award. Now, we convene a Best Paper Award committee consisting of eminent uh, scientists. Uh, Yan Liu from University of Southern California, Beng Chin Oi from National University of Singapore, Andrew Tompkins from Google, as well as Gerhard Weikum from Max Planck Institute in Germany. I would invite Ravi to announce the Best Student Paper. So the Best Student Paper Award goes to uh, Wei He Li and Paul uh, Patras on Stable Sketch, a versatile sketch for accurate, fast web scale data stream processing. So I invite the authors to come to the stage. So, by the way, you can find uh, these papers being presented later this morning. So, make sure you go to the guide session in case you're interested uh, in this, which is Leo 4, which is at level 1. Now, next, we would like to announce the best uh, paper award. And this year, the best paper award goes to Mechanism Design for Large Language Models, which, uh, which is authored by Paul Dutting, Fahab Mekroni, Renato Pais Lem, Haifeng Xu, and Song Chuo. Uh, and we invite the, any author that are present to come up here to receive the award. And similarly, if you're interested in the sessions, this is going to be presented in, on Thursday morning. All right, I think that is all from us, the program chairs. And at this point in time, we are going to pass the time to Wendy. Thank you. Ah, good morning, everybody. Come on, wake up. <laughs> so um, I am proudly wearing my t-shirt from the first worldwide web conference. I'm proudly wearing my t-shirt from the first world, world, worldwide web conference. Is anyone else here who was at the first conference 30 years ago? Well, that marks me out as being very old. But here it is. I can, I can still wear my t-shirt 
So as well as the internet being 50 years old this year, um, the big party is in Stanford next weekend. They would time it in a weekend when we can't get there. And we're also holding a party in London in July. Um, and then there'll be another celebration later on in the year, somewhere in Asia, I think, um, to celebrate 50 years of the internet. The World Wide Web Conference, 30 years old this year. And um, do you want me to talk into this? Does it matter? No. So 30 years ago, we founded this organization called IW3C2, which is an acronym that rolled off the tongue for many years, the International World Wide Web Conference Committee. And um, one of the most successful of the conferences we had in terms of um, the amount of uh, people who attended and therefore the amount of money that was raised was the Seoul, uh, Seoul and South Korea um, conference, which was run by Chin Wan Chong, who's there. Do you want to stand up, Chin Wan? Stand up. Sir. They made so much money. <laughs> and this is a hint to this year's conference. If you're in profit, you endow prizes. And um, the, uh, the Seoul conference uh, endowed... Um, a, a prize for the Test of Time Award. And you can always tell when a research discipline or a technology that's it, that it spawns a conference has grown up. I find it hard to believe that the World Wide Web is 30 years old. It's well into adulthood and is misbehaving in many different ways, as, um, as Vint pointed out. It's up to us to try and help it behave better, but... Uh, 30 years old now. In 1994, it was a little baby, and nobody knew if anybody would come to the conference, and look what happened. But um, the, uh, uh, we're old enough to have Test of Time awards now, and um, unfortunately, this year's winner couldn't be with us today, um, but there is a co little committee that... Um, is, is uh, run by the, um, as, we, as Dick said, we became an ACM conference two years ago. So IW3C2 still exists in a legal form, but the conference is now an ACM conference. And that, that uh, steering, our steering committee runs a group um, that, that decides on the Test of Time Award. And this year, oh, here's the committee. I don't know if Ryan's here. Is Ryan here this year? The chair works very hard. This is also, um, uh, here's the committee that pick uh, the paper that uh, is deemed to have been the, the paper to look back, out, look back on and, and uh, celebrate. And this year's winner is Tahir Havalawala and, for, and his paper, Topic Sensitive Page Rank, which was, now I wonder how many of you were in the in Hawaii for the 2002 conference. I was there. Uh, that was a fabulous conference. This was a conference where, um, I mean, the first, the first Test of Time Award in 2015 went to Bryn and Page for the page rank algorithm and the paper they published in the web conference about that. So this is following up on that topic sensitive page rank uh, that was published in uh, 2002 in the fabulous Honolulu. So um, unfortunately, as I said, Tahir couldn't be here today, but we've sent him his award, which looks rather like the picture there, and we thank him for his paper, and we urge you to look at it, especially students, to look back at this paper that was written and has had, had such an impact on our community going forwards. So look and learn and think what one day you could win this award. If you're doing wonderful work today, you could be the Test of Time Award winner in the future. So well done, Tahir. Thank you to the committee. And uh, we'll have another Test of Time Award next year. Thank you.